Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Two Spirit or Two Siblings Spirit Adventure. How many have you had? <laughs> Just Brandy. Oh. All right. I'm Brianna. Well, I'm Patrick. What are we taking a look at today? Some bourbon, right? <laughs> yeah, some bourbon. Some bourbon. Specifically, a single barrel, barrel proof bourbon. From Three Boys Farm Distillery in oh, I want to say I want to say Frankfort, Kentucky, but I don't want to be wrong. Yep, Frankfort, Kentucky. That's right. We don't know what the proof is because they poured it straight out of the barrel. So yeah, but it is strong because it's not watered down any. And I have the perfect glass. What a yeah Kentucky, <laughs> Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Exactly. So. Without further ado, let's go on to the nose. What do you think? Corn. Yeah, corn, but what else? Vanilla. Yeah, but there's something more prominent to me. I want to see if you get it before I say it. Wheat? Uh, no. I don't know. I smell corn, I smell vanilla. Peanut butter. No? No. <laughs> Peanut butter. Peanut butter jelly coffee? <laughs> no jelly. <laughs> Just peanut butter. So, oh, God. peanut butter, corn sweetness. <sighs> I smell... Maybe a little bit of brown sugar cinnamon. Yeah, it's more like... I said vanilla at first, but I think it's more like a maple now. Okay. Like maple syrup. Alright. Interesting. So for you, corn, ma maple syrup... A spice. Yeah, their their spice to me is like that cinnamon blended with the sweet like brown sugar. Maybe. But there's also to me that peanut butter note, which you don't get, but hey, taste and nosing is subjective, so everyone's different. You gonna move on to the palate and see what it's like? Maybe you'll taste your peanut butter. Maybe. We'll find out. Maple. Um, so I kind of get maybe where you're coming from with, with with the syrup. Yeah, it's like maple syrup. It's like Mrs. Buttersworth. Hmm. So I kind of get that, but the way that I get that is we used to take peanut butter. <laughs> I know. I know this is and where, syrup this is coming from. And mix it together. And put it on on bread to give it like a sweeter peanut butter sandwich, as like a side dish to like chili, our, or things like that. Actually, our school that started that. Our school did some some similar, yes, but yeah. So mixing peanut butter with syrup, not necessarily real maple syrup, usually like Mrs. But but Buttersworth, you know, pancake syrup. Um. Gives you like a sweetness, but also a nuttiness, both together. And that's kind of what I get on the palate in foremost. I'm going to take another sip, and maybe we can try adding a little bit of water to see what happens. You don't have a spoon. You got a dropper. Yeah, so you, you get a peanut butter syrup mix, and then you get cinnamon... I got the cinnamon. And cinnamon, maple. Cinnamon, the peanut butter, the syrup, and then I still don't get where he gets peanut butter, but okay. Maybe the maple reminds him of the peanut butter. Lingering like cinnamon <laughs> oak spice. Now, hand me the small dropper. Wait a minute. What? This isn't fish tank water, is it? I don't know. What, what'd you do with it? 
Then give me the big water. I don't know. <laughs> Why would you even use that for a fish tank? That's dumb. I have one for my test kit. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I uh, I know mine ain't for the ta <laughs> task kit, so I'm not gonna worry about it there. But you're ridiculous with your fish. Hey. Too. You, you, we have a label maker. Put a la <laughs> label on it so nobody else uses it. I don't think that one is. <laughs> I think mine's in my room. How did it change the nose? We're maple. Yeah, sweeter. Like corn syrup sweet. More sweet on the nose. <sighs> like corn. You still got a little bit of that nuttiness in the background. But corn, corn sweetness is the dominant note um, on the nose now. Kind of reminds me of cereal. Yeah. I mean, a lot a lot of cereals, you mean like breakfast cereal, right? Yeah, like corn flakes. Yeah, I, I was going to say a lot of cereal. The frosty flakes. A, a lot of cereal in the U.S. is made with corn, so yeah. it makes sense. All right, want to see how the palate is with a few drops of water? Not huh? much different. Um, for me at least. Uh, I think the spice is more at the forefront, to me. And that could be the proof too, though, because we don't know what the. Yeah, but I mean, with the water, it's more spicy than it was without the water, to me, on the front. So, to me, it's with the water. It starts out spicy cinnamon, then the sweetness, like the syrup. Peanut butter is kind of hiding more now, and then the lingering uh, oak oak spice and sweetness. Yeah. So, what do you think of this one? It's pretty good. Yeah. Would you want to go visit the distillery next time we're down there? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a good pla place to stop if you're in in the area. If you're in the Frankfurt area, I recommend two different uh, craft distilleries. Uh, the, the Three Boys Farm and Glens Creek Distilling. Both of which are a great place to stop. Expect to see the Glens Creek Distilling products on our channel soon. Well, any, anything else from you? Why is this one half gone? Because Dad likes it, I think. He's been into our voice. <laughs> Well, <laughs> while most bottles are, are mine, this is technically his. Okay. But he doesn't mind free. Maybe he radio. mixes it with coffee. No, he doesn't. He likes his coffee plain. Oh, wait, no. That his was his plain. bourbon creamer that he had. Never yes, that, that was Boone <laughs> County bourbon cream. All right. Well, I have nothing else to add. All right. Well, then, until next time. Cheers. Cheers.